thanks for joining me today. I thought I'd start the year out with uh, the green guitar. This thing is, uh, I haven't seen any attention in way too long. I guess since I started this whole YouTube demo thing, so. This is, uh, this is my baby, and I've just been giving everything else attention lately. But, uh, it's a uh, PRS limited edition semi hollow, and, uh, I picked this one from stacks of wood. Stacks and stacks and stacks. I went through hundreds of pieces till I found the grain that did it for me. Um, brought it back to Paul years later, and He's a fanatic. Even the screws uh, that hold these keys to the tuners, uh, everything, uh, the screws that mount uh, the tuner to the wood, everything matters to him. The weight, if it's too heavy, no good. So he came up with some lighter screws and gave me these cool uh, abalone uh, buttons um, aside from replacing all those screws with lighter screws uh, custom wound multi-tap system this is this is old stuff uh, it's the last of his signature the limited edition signature series and uh, not my first green guitar but this is certainly the one that people told me you know a good friend of mine in the business told me you know, don't use your name. You want to be anonymous on the internet. You got to call yourself Green Guitars, and I kind of agreed. At that point, I think I had six Green Guitars of my own. But uh, there you go. Someone consider this the Holy Grail. Um, thank you for watching over the past year or so. Uh, way more people have watched these videos than I ever thought. Seems like I'm an advice column these days for a lot of people. Cool. I'm glad to help. Um, I'm looking for guitars, so guitars wanted. You know, anybody that's looking to sell guitars, wants to upgrade, trade up, I buy, sell, and trade them these days. That's how I support my two awesome kids. You didn't read my homepage. I'm a single dad, and I got two awesome kids. And... Uh, you can't hold a day job. They're three and six, so you can't hold a day job and be a single parent. There's just no way, so God put it on my heart. He said, well, I had to sell off half of my belongings to make everything happen, uh, including most of my guitar collection, but uh, he said, you could do this and you could turn a living at it. I did this in stores for 15 years, so why not try it for myself? And it was a good year. I love what I do. I uh, go out of my way to make my customers happy. If you check the eBay end of things, 100% positive and everybody raves. So I go out of my way to point out every flaw and for what it's worth, if I don't like it, I don't buy it. I don't have to sell anything I don't like and I'm very picky. I turn down hundreds. I shop all the time. This is what I do full time. So. If it's coming from me, all except for my own guitar here, which has been neglected, uh, I have cleaned the fingerboard on everything but maple, because you really can't clean the maple ones, but ebony or rosewood, I thoroughly clean the fingerboard, polish the frets, and even on the maple ones, I polish the frets. That makes a difference, so when you're bending notes, it doesn't get hung up on the string cheese. Finger cheese you got. Oh, take a break.